this is Bitskid and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video and another video inside of Earl with Kids, a lovely world. Yes guys, once again today we are back in my lovely world with another video and today we're going to be continuing building the cafe which we began a couple episodes ago over uh, in the little town centre to our right for the way we're facing at the moment. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's... I do this. Okay guys, we are now over here and we are going to begin putting the inside in. So I was going to start by designing the tables. So I was thinking for the tables I will have, let's just move this all along here. Seats of jungle wood, acacia for the legs. And then the blue carpet for the tabletop. So I'm going to start by doing a just a little corner table here there we go i'll put that in there maybe we could put one either side there as well so that's a nice little table we'll put some of the ones where it comes around a corner like this i think so if we put the table here that looks quite nice because you just have the sort of sofa area there so you can sit on here and you have uh, your coffee or whatever on the table there i think we'll do a couple of those going along this wall i'm not sure what i did here i did one like that and then two one that's the same isn't it yes it is good so then we can place this down here put those on there we go so i think they're quite nice tables to be honest these because it's just nice to just sit down be able to see bit of opening here what i will do is i'll do the counter to come along the back here i have some wood so i'll just build out this birch wood for now i can always replace it later put a trap door in there and have a trap door in there as well so just a little corner counter that rhymes i didn't mean it to rhyme but it did let's make a crafting table because they're very useful and I want to make a trap door, so that will probably be here or in the next menu. It's definitely not in the next menu, I'm not sure where it is. It could be there. It'll be with doors and they're not here. Ah, oh, here they are. Here it is, two trap doors. Ah, oh, I made four, but never mind. That one's fine. Placed that one wrong, I've got an axe, so why don't I use that? And that one can be placed on the wall there, so it flats up. There we go, lovely. So we've got the little serving area here in the corner. And I think what I'll do later on is I'll put a table in the back here. Because if you're going to come in there, you don't really want to have that right in front of you, so we'll put it there. If we have it just go all the way around, there we go, so that'd be quite nice. Yeah, so you have a sort of making table here. So you make coffee or whatever that they're selling here on this table. So we could at some point get some brewing stands to use to make it. I'm going to put this crafting table in. I'm just going to put it in a dishwasher or something or like a machine of some sort. I might change it at some point. But anyway, let's start putting some more tables in. So this is quite nice actually. I think this corner works quite well. I'm not sure what else to put here. I might start over here because I've got a bit more space here. I've got some open area just so I can develop it. And there we go. I could do this like this, I guess. I'll break that one away because if you're sitting over here, you're not going to be able to get to the table really. And then we'll put these in. There we go. 
that's a nice little table. Well, it's a rather large table, that. I placed three pieces of carpet wrong before I got that one on there. That's great. Let's break these away. There we go, lovely. Grab this carpet. Break that one as well. Oh yeah, that's quite a nice little table. I might do a few more of these, to be honest. Because I do like these tables. I might do a longer one this time, and I might have it curve round again. So you could have... That probably works, because if you could have a rather large party come and sit on that table. I mean, it's quite a small table for the amount of seats that you have there. But it's quite a nice sofa area. And I think it would be quite nice for people to come and have a seat here. We'll do a couple of the most authentic tables you see, especially in Minecraft. Bang. Break that because I placed it in the wrong place. One there. Break this torch, place it there. This is the most common table you see anyone build. Most common table ever. I might do it so these chairs are pushed in actually because it doesn't look quite right with them out. I need to be really careful when breaking things. My axe is very powerful. Yeah, that looks better like that. I think you can still come and sit on here. Just about. I could do a row of these coming out here, to be honest, if I just put them such as that. I'll do a couple of those. I don't want to have too much of a mess in the middle. I want quite an open space in the middle. I'm not sure. I could do glass and then maybe grey behind. Or a chest and glass. So you can see what drinks you want in like a cabinet here. But that will be later. I'm going to do a corner seat here. That's not the right block. That's not the right block. I did not mean to place it on that torch either. <laughs> this is going well. Uh, there we go. So we'll break that one away. And I'll put a block one in the corner there. Have it come out like that. Round here. There we go. So we can have a four table here in the middle. There we go, lovely. That's a very large one, especially even compared to that one, it's quite large. But I think if you have a rather a larger party than the fit on that table, you could have them go to this table. Anyway, let's just put a little serving counter in here. So if you come in, you can be served by someone here, oh, that does look quite nice if you come in and you have this either side of you. But you could have someone standing behind you saying, hello, welcome to the restaurant. How many people would you like a table for? Where would you like to sit? That could be quite nice. Anyway, let's move back over here. I'm going to start putting another table set in here. I'll do a round sort of one it's kind of blocking up the counter here break that now oh, all that placed as a corner piece for me anyway that did as well and this is a more closed table it's really not a table it's just a sort of seating area because it's a one block table in the middle of all of this <laughs> yeah so it's more closed, so you can come and sit here, you can talk to people around you. I do think that's quite nice, to be honest. I need to put a roof on this at some point. Also, I need to think of lighting. Do I have glowstone? No. I was looking for glowstone in a previous episode. But I could do some sort of mood lighting. Or I could do it so it looks like this that looks quite nice and if you have one of those every few blocks that would be quite nice that would probably give quite nice mood lighting if I break this one away there we go let's place that one there oh no that's one up above the one I want it to be 
Where do I want that level to be? There we go. Place these around here. I think that would create quite nice lighting, to be honest, because they're a bit spaced apart. Actually, I should count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in between. I should maybe do eight instead of six, because then that would give it a bit more spacing. So, two, four, six, eight. This aqua one here. It's a bit awkward placing them on here. There's stuff all over the floor, so it's quite hard to get to. Because you see, it starts getting dark in the middle there. And once I remove the torches down here, it'll be quite dark lower down. Because if I break these away, mobs will start spawning in here, so I probably should go and sleep. But if you see, it's quite dark if you break these away, so it gives quite nice mood lighting. And it adds quite a nice effect. Especially as it, like over this table so this table is getting lit up by those and a bit of this that's lighting up i'm pointing like you can see my hands it's lighting up this table oh i didn't mean to do that and then that's kind of coming across to about here ish that one's doing a bit of this table and a bit of this one so let's count again one two three four five six seven eight here we go and place that one on the end there lovely and put the lights on it again. I'm going to start breaking away these torches on the walls as well because they'll sort of ruin the effect because they are obviously lighting up the room themselves. So there we go. Are there any more torches on the walls over here? And that has quite a nice look as well. That side looks really nice actually. You can't really get the effect because there are these torches lying everywhere. Just break all of them, I guess. I thought I'd got most of the torches that were on the floor, but apparently not. I've got an easier bit here, because there's a counter, so I can just walk along the whole thing. Now I'm back up on the table, so I'm just jumping from chair to chair. And here I'm just having to try and reach it. Yeah, that does look quite nice, to be honest with you. The middle of the room will be a bit dark, to be honest, as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of feel like I should put it there, but then that would be a bit too close to the previous one. I'm not sure. Actually, no, maybe not. That is eight, so it is right. Seven, eight, this purple one here. Let's place it on there. I would maybe change the lighting behind the counter to a stronger one and possibly a more focused and zoomed one which is focusing on lighting up the counter in itself i'm just going to count this one two three four five six seven eight this yellow one here let's place that on there we go lovely so it adds quite a nice effect here i'm not going to count this from the corner i'll do eight from here so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this blue one. There you go, place it on there, place the block on the end. It feels quite repetitive, this, but it does, in the end, probably add quite a nice effect because you can see the room's lit up a bit round the edges of the tables, but then in the middle you get quite a plain effect and it's quite a dark effect. This zombie's going to annoy me, so I'm going to have to axe him because that's all I've got there we go rip mr. zombie I'm not sure 2019 to 2019 <laughs> I'm not gonna put them across the front I don't think one two three four one two three four five six seven eight this yellow one uh, this is a confusing me it's hard to jump across the tables especially when you can't see what they're doing because you're having to look up to count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you can't do that. I'm just going to place one maybe up there. Did not mean to do that. But just to light it up when you come in. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Because you're getting the light from the outside. If you blocked it off, then it would probably be a bit darker. 
But eventually you could maybe put a sort of dance floor in the middle or something, depending on what we want to do. I mean, I might move this table or might just get rid of it. Actually, I'm going to. And then in the next video, or in this video, I can dig it out in this video. And then we'll put it in the next video when I've got some materials to do it. And I might put a beacon up through the middle of it. That would look quite nice. Let's just count this. One, two, three, four, five. Should we go five in from each side? Well, it'll have to be five in from here. One, two, three, four, five. Here we are. And then we want to go one, two, three each way. One, two, three. Then along here, I need to find a piece of birch because I just made a big mistake there. No, that's annoying. Jump across here to place it in. And bring this out. Dig this out. Here we go. It's getting there. Once we finish this and once we put this middle floor in it, it'll have quite nice lighting. I could get stained glass on the main floor and then I could wire some flashing lights underneath. That might be the best way to do a dance floor and I'll wire it so that they can be turned on and off at your own will. So we can possibly put the control behind the counter. I'm gonna get a shovel out because I'll dig this second layer. I might have to do a third layer as well to be honest with you. If I'm gonna wire, I need the second layer for the light. The light. Then I need the third layer for the redstone and the fourth layer so I can get in. So let's break this away as well. Don't even know if I put my recording light on actually when I started this. If I didn't. <laughs> uh, let's just finish breaking this away. There we go. Let's just finish this over here as well. There we go. I might do five. Actually, no, I'll just do four because I need a way out. Uh, I'm going too deep here. I'm just going to use these to get out because I really don't fancy getting my stuff out. I'm going to have to here. But anyway, let's just pick, break that away. And there we go. I'm just going to put this there for now. I think this could work, to be honest. If we get it in. Let's go see if we can get some glass. I might go underwater, to be honest. I've just got my shovel out just in case. I'm not sure how to make stained glass. Have we got anything? If I just find out how to make it first. Glass. Ah, here we go. You need... Okay, how do you get orange dye? I'm not sure. Flowers, I guess. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to have to work it out for the next episode. I'll gather it all together for us. And then we'll start building it in the next episode. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, then make sure you leave a big fat thumbs up. Also, if you are new here, welcome. My name's been Wizkid Hero. And if you haven't already subscribed, then make sure to do so right now for lots more fun and entertaining videos from me. I do Minecraft, Roblox, Fortnite, etc. And I do a whole load of different videos. If you guys do have any suggestions for games or just want to say hi, then make sure to leave a comment down below. And I'll try my best to reply to your comments. I'll read as many as I can. I'll try my best to reply to them. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode here. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all.